Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, they keep telling me it's the year of the lager. Cerveza del Rey Oscura is a 4.8% dark Mexican-style lager from Brew Detroit in Detroit, Michigan. Brew Detroit is trying to replicate the success that they've had with their Cerveza del Rey in this new Cerveza del Rey Oscura. Where the original Del Rey is a Mexican style lager, which is light in color, you can think something like a Corona or a Modelo. Oscura is a dark style lager. If you're unfamiliar with dark lagers, think of maybe a Negro Modelo, maybe even a German style Dunkel lager, like an Aang or Dunkel. This one was released just in time for Cinco de Mayo, and this review is obviously going to be out after May 5th. But this style lager is going to be something that we're going to be looking forward to all summer in those hot months. So let's go look at the label. But first, I'd like to thank my executive producers, Brian Kramer, David Jeffries, Vinnie Kent, and Cam Freeman for helping to bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel, or maybe just throw me a couple bucks to buy me a beer, take a look at my Patreon at patreon.drafttherapy.com, where you can get early access to these videos and a few other special perks that are available only to patrons. If the monetary thing isn't your thing, just share the video. That'll help get the word out. So when I say a Inger Dunkel, like a, a, a German-style Dunkel, Mexican dark lagers are kind of similar to that style. They're almost like a dark Munich style. So again, let's take a look at the label. We'll get this one into a glass. We'll put it through the paces. If we look in the, on the front here, it says Brew Detroit in white letters at the black label. It has almost, a, it looks like a moon to me, these diagonal stripes. The regular Cerveza del Rey is a white can with an inverse color palette, which more represents the sun. Underneath it says Cerveza del Rey, Oscura a dark Mexican style lager. If we turn around to the back of the spine, it has the Brew Detroit logo. It says lager, crisp, dark, malty, clean, refreshing. Made in Detroit, Michigan, the independent craft beer logo, and this is 4.8% alcohol by volume. One pint on the other side of the spine is the government warning, Brew Detroit LLC, Detroit, Michigan. This can, if you've noticed, you might not notice, it's really very subtle. This one is the new can, this came out obviously in May, like I said, for Cinco de Mayo. Earlier in the year, in January, they had the first run of this. The can has changed a little bit. I'll have a little screener up here, a little picture with both of them side by side. I'm going to grab this glass. I don't know exactly style glass this is, but this is my loaded dice. Uh, dank Vegas glass. We're going to crack this, put a nose on it. Just to let you know, this was canned on April 27th, 2022. This is May 7th that I'm recording this. A four pack of this ran me eight bucks. So as I mentioned in all these Brew Detroit videos, I think Brew Detroit is pretty much the best value for, for what you're getting. I mean, eight bucks for a four pack of dark lagers. Can't beat that. So let's put a nose on it here. It has those sweet kind of dark caramel notes to it. It has a slight lagery aroma to it, but it, it carries a nice kind of caramel aroma as well. Let's go ahead and pour this. Coming out pretty dark out of the can. Again, it has like a caramel amber kind of color to it. Pretty, see, pretty clear, see-through. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let this pour up. Slow down a little bit here. And on this pour, I'm getting about two fingers of head. The head is pretty compact. It has some larger bubbles. Larger bubbles are on the outside. On the cross section of the glass, it looks very... The, the head doesn't look quite as dense, as compact as it does from the top. But it has like a nice kind of aerated head on it. If we hold it up to the light here, again, very dark, very amber. To you guys, it looks extremely dark. To me, it actually looks pretty dark, too. It probably looks darker, though, looking for you guys than it does for me. I can see my fingers through this. It just looks like, it looks very dark, like almost like a purple, again, really dark amber color to it. Let's put a nose on the glass here. Getting, again, getting a, like a lagery aroma to it, but also getting a, a roasty aroma, a little bit of a caramel kind of aroma to it, too. Smells like it's going to be pretty good, so let's go ahead and try it out. Cheers. Always, always, always talk about the mouthfeel. The mouthfeel is very light, very crisp, very refreshing. It has a nice crispness to it. It's not it's not thick. It's not even the medium category. It's very light. Again, very crisp. Has a nice kind of sharp mouthfeel to it. Let's talk about the flavor. So again, think of, if you've had one, think of a Negro uh, Modelo or Modelo Negro, Negro, whichever, however you want to place those word combination, those words together. It has that kind of vibe. 
So for those of you unfamiliar with that, again, what we've got is we've got a little bit, right up on the upfront, it has that crisp, almost citrusy kind of taste to it, but that's really immediately followed up by these roasty notes, uh, roasted malty notes. It has a nice kind of caramel sweet finish to it. Um, it kind of just mixes the best of both worlds in that cerveza, but also with the roasty notes. So it's like a roasty cerveza. Cervezas to me, especially Cerveza del Rey, which is the, the precursor to this, uh, the big brother, so to speak, has like those kind of limey, crisp, kind of citrusy notes to it. This also seems like it carries those through a little bit. Especially on the initial upfront taste, that kind of comes through. But as that goes down, as you swallow it, as it goes over your tongue, that's when you start to pick up a little bit more of those roasty notes, a little bit more of that caramel flavoring comes through. It finishes off like a sweeter caramel, like a, a almost like a bready, kind of biscuity caramel flavor on the finish. It's just really crisp, really refreshing. Uh, it's May, it's early May. It hasn't, we haven't had too many warm days. We've had those kind of odd, like one off 80 degree days. And then it's been back down to the fifties today. We actually got the 60 when I'm recording this, but this is a really good beer for those kind of warmer, crisper months, or maybe just a time that you've been working out in the yard. Maybe you're looking for something, a dark beer, but you're not looking for a stout or a porter or a dark beer like that. Dark lagers are perfect for that kind of scenario. This is 4.8% uh, ABV, I believe. Cerveza del Rey, the original Cerveza del Rey is 4.2%. I think that's what it is. Uh, we talked about it on the Dewey Pod Monster podcast, which I will link below. But the, these will be released, I believe, on the same day. So you can hear us talk a little bit more, more about Cerveza del Rey. But it, uh, yeah, it just has those really nice notes to it. It's really refreshing. If you're looking for a different change of pace from those light lagers, again, this is the year of the lager. That's what they keep telling me. So if you're looking for a lager, but you're not looking for that light, th those light lagers, you're looking for something a little bit, a little bit more fuller bodied, a little bit more taste. Add that added complexity of having those roasty notes, those caramel kind of notes to it. And that's where you get Cerveza del Rey Oscura. All right, friends, that has been Cerveza del Rey Oscura from Brew Detroit in Detroit, Michigan. Have you had this beer? Do you have a favorite Cerveza or maybe even a dark Cerveza? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell. I'm here talking about beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. If you are subscribed, if you are getting those notifications, share this video with your friends. Let's spread the word. Let's widen the net. Let's talk about Michigan craft beer. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries. Again, these guys are in Detroit, Michigan. And until next time, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Cheers. Cheers.